a couple years back during the NFT or non-fungible token craze, where JPEG pictures of punks and board apes were being traded for millions of dollars, I had a short-term trading strategy where I would try to find NFT projects before they launched that were creating a lot of buzz and hype and try to get whitelisted for a pre-mint or be ready right when their general mint occurred in order to mint the NFT and turn around and sell it for a higher price on OpenSea, a secondary NFT marketplace for trading. And if you don't really know what whitelisting, pre-mint, or minting NFTs means, it's not important for this story. Basically, I was trying to buy something new as soon as it was released, which required more attention and technical skills, then turn around and sell it at a higher price than I bought it on an NFT marketplace website that makes it very easy and less technical people can buy NFTs. So this one particular project was being hyped and chilled by some big YouTubers with big followings at the time, so I was going to try to mint the max number of NFTs I could at launch to turn around and sell them. And this process usually involves joining the project's Discord server, so you can follow all of their announcements, updates, and get an overall feel for their community and what they are looking to accomplish in the long run. So the mint for this particular project was coming up soon, however, I hadn't really noted the specific date in my head. And one morning, I got up, went to check my computer, and saw an announcement on Discord flash that the mint was now open. Instantly, without even thinking, I clicked on the link, connected my wallet, chose the max number to mint, and bam! Mission accomplished, or so I thought, because the NFTs never ended up in my wallet. And upon further inspection, turns out the link I had clicked on was posted by a scammer pretending to be an admin on the Discord server. I ended up at a fake website and got wrecked, fam. I sent like $20,000 worth of ETH to a scammer, and it all happened just like that insane. So in a video I posted a few months ago about Ledger's new recover service, Bitcoin and crypto expert Andreas Antonopoulos tells us the top two ways people that use their own crypto wallets lose crypto. One, by not securing their private key or seed phrase backup. And two, by being socially engineered or tricked by scammers to either send them their private key or seed phrase or by sending them crypto, NFTs, or other digital assets like what happened in my case. In crypto, we all live, we learn, and we all get wrecked out here in the wild, wild west. And honestly, if you haven't lost any crypto from user error, scammers, losing your backups, prices crashing, or whatever, consider yourself extremely lucky because this new speculative technology is riddled with ways to lose our investments. There are scammers everywhere, all the time, and they're getting more sophisticated with AI deep fakes convincing chatbots, fake websites pretending to be the real ones, it's endless. This is why I always recommend using the links to the correct and official websites in the description area below for any tools, products, services, or projects we discuss together on the channel. And what's great is there is a free browser extension we can all use that would have 100% prevented me from losing my $20,000 worth of ETH by popping up a warning about the website being very new with a low trust score. And if I had decided to proceed upon connecting my wallet before the transaction occurred, it would have shown me a human readable description of exactly what will happen if I approve the transaction, which turned out being sending ETH to an address in exchange for nothing. So not actually minting an NFT. Hello, I'm Crypto Casey, and in this video, we are going to explore WalletGuard, a free browser extension that can protect our wallets and cryptocurrency investments while browsing the internet and interacting with Web3 applications. Let's hit it. Let's see WallGuard in action if or when we come across a potential scam or actual scam in the multiple layers of security that execute to protect us and our crypto investments. Wallet drainers and phishing attempts are rampant and getting more sophisticated every day. And in WallGuard's most recent update, they rolled out Stormwatcher, a new feature that detects wallet drainers without us even having to connect our wallet or simulate a transaction. Here's an example of how it works. Here's a fake tweet from an account pretending to be the other side NFT gaming project with botted activity for likes and comments to make it appear more authentic, featuring a link to claim a supposedly free premium pass. The link takes us to a beacons page, which is similar to Linktree. So this page, although legit, contains a button that takes us to a malicious wallet drainer website instantly when it's clicked. And in comes WalletGuard's Stormwatcher, warning us that this website is a suspected wallet drainer preventing us from ever interacting with the website at all. From here, we can navigate to our WalletGuard dashboard, avoiding the website altogether, and here we can see this new alert where it identified the malicious website for us. Sweet. Next, let's go a little further onto a fake website where the scammers have actually created a fake secured by WalletGuard message. 
and how our WallGuard app handles the situation. So this is a link to a fake website to mint NFTs related to the Artifact NFT project, and right away we get the warning that this website may be harmful as it may be a phishing attempt, was recently created, and has a low trust score. This time, let's choose to proceed anyways. So here we are at an exact copy of the real Artifact website, and if we click the claim button to attempt to mint an NFT, a message within the website shows us a fake message that is secured by WallGuard to try and trick us. But then, our WallGuard app is triggered and shows us a warning that they have flagged this website as phishing. Do not engage with this signature because signing this will list your assets or place an offer for them on an NFT trading marketplace. Click reject and we can see exactly what was going to happen which our NFT in our wallet here was going to be listed on OpenSea, an NFT marketplace where it would have been effectively stolen. Click reject again, and what we are seeing is actually multiple attempts to interact with our wallet to perform multiple attempts at stealing our NFTs and funds. Here we can see that signing this transaction was going to give the hackers permission to withdraw digital assets from our wallet. So as we can see, even with WallGuard, scammers are getting more and more savvy, like with these fake secured by WallGuard messages on fake websites. Cool. Let's go through one more scenario where we experience wallet guards protection layers. Here's a tweet from a fake account pretending to be the collab land NFT project with a link that takes us to a link tree page with buttons to mint NFTs. When we click the button, wallet guards phishing protection layer executes, warning us that this may be a phishing attempt as the site was recently created and has low trust. If we choose to proceed anyways, we arrive at the fake website pretending to be the real one. And if we click to mint an NFT, then connect our crypto wallet, WallGuard's transaction simulation layer executes and warns us that if we sign the transaction, our NFTs in our wallet will be listed for sale on OpenSea. And if we click reject, we see that this site is making multiple attempts to interact with our wallet where we would be giving the site permission to withdraw everything. Reject again, and here we can see we would have been giving the ether in our wallet to the scammer. And what's great is all of these warnings are displayed by WallGuard before interacting with our wallet. Amazing. Let's take a look at WallGuard's latest feature that is a must-have and lifesaver for anyone new to the crypto space who is just dipping their toes into the wild world of Web3, DeFi, and NFTs. It's called ChatWeb3, and it works just like ChatGPT in that it's an AI chatbot we can use to ask questions and learn more about Web3 tech in real time as we are doing transactions like swapping crypto, minting NFTs, and more. Check it out. If we're about to swap some crypto using a DeFi exchange like Uniswap, our trusty WallGuard app will show a window simulating the transaction. And if we need assistance, we can use their chat web 3 feature to ask any questions we may have. Like in this example, we may ask, what is slippage? Chat web 3 hits us back with an instant answer, explaining how it's the difference between the expected price of a transaction versus the actual executed price. And it occurs with decentralized exchanges when there is high volatility or low liquidity neat stuff. And if we just want to use ChatWeb3 to learn more without using it when transacting or interacting with Web3 tech, we can go to WallGuard's website using the link in the description area below and then click on the ChatWeb3 button on the top navigational bar to access this dashboard. From here, we can see it asks who we are, whether we are new to Web3 so we can get help and support with navigating the space, or a DeFi trader, so we can stay ahead of DeFi trends with real-time information on high yield savings and lending opportunities. Or if we are a Web3 developer, we can access Solidity documents, Alchemy, and Etherscan tools to build Web3 apps. And coming soon, if we are an NFT degen, we can get contextualized NFT insights and answers to any NFT questions. Nice. Let's select that we are new to Web3. And here we can see what this tool is all about and some example questions we can ask to get started. At the bottom in the message field, Let's type the question, what is a smart contract? Bam, ChatWeb3 hits us back with an answer. Sweet. And if we look on the left-hand part of the screen, the chat is saved so we can reference it at any time, just like how ChatGPT works. And we can also choose to start a new chat by clicking on this button in the top left-hand corner. Now, let's ask it, what is a DEX? And voila, another instant answer to our Web3 question. Cool. And finally, in the bottom left-hand corner here, we can clear our ChatWeb3 conversations download the WallGuard extension, use ChatWeb3 for business, share on Twitter, and request a feature from the WallGuard team. Amazing. This is the kind of technology that we all need to be using as crypto investors in order to protect our digital assets, because it's just going to keep getting worse out there with the scams before it gets better.
WallGuard is the most advanced open source free browser extension that features proactive phishing detection and crypto wallet transaction simulations for multiple blockchain networks like Ethereum, Polygon, and Arbitrum at the time of this video, and they are actively working to support more chains in the future. Since June of 2022, WallGuard has saved over $5 million worth of digital assets from being stolen by scammers and has simulated over 1 million crypto wallet transactions for its users. It's important to note that WallGuard does not connect to your crypto wallet. Rather, it simulates the transaction without any direct interaction with your wallet, so it can never move your assets or make any decisions for you and your wallet transactions. If you'd like to explore exactly how WallGuard works, you can check out their open source GitHub to check out the code and processes. At the time of this video, WallGuard is 100% free and does not sell our data. In the future, they plan on offering premium features for crypto investors like us if we need them. So download WallGuard to protect your crypto wallet and digital assets right now. It only takes like one minute and stay up to date on all of the latest security releases. Let's go ahead and install WallGuard's free browser extension together, step by step. WallGuard is compatible with Chromium-based browsers, which includes Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Brave, and Opera. In this walkthrough, we will be using Brave Browser. So first and foremost, make sure to scroll down and use the links to WallGuard's correct and official site. And from here, we will land on their website. Next, click on the green Add to Browser, it's free button. And from here, we will arrive at the app page where we can choose to start the download. A notification window may show where you have to confirm you want to proceed by clicking on the add extension button. And in a snap, it downloads and will open your recently installed WallGuard app. On the main dashboard, we see a message that everything looks good and that WallGuard will let you know if they detect anything suspicious while you're browsing. In the section underneath, we see wallet versions where if we have different web extension crypto wallets like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Phantom, or Binance installed, WallGuard will let you know if you are using the latest version of each wallet. And if not, it will alert you to update your wallet app when a new version is available to make sure you are always using the safest, most secure version of your crypto wallet web extensions. And in this section at the very bottom, we have any recent alerts WallGuard notified you on. Cool. On the left of the screen, we have a navigation bar. Right now, we are on the dashboard and we can click the Alert History tab to see a full list of all WallaGuard alerts over time. Below that, on the Extensions tab, we can see WallaGuard's Malicious Extension Detection feature, where they alert you when malicious extensions get installed on your browser to protect you from malware and spyware. So here are all the extensions currently installed on the browser, and everything looks good to go. Next, on the Navigation bar, we have the Settings tab. And here we have four features toggled on which includes Block recently created sites, where WallaGuard will let you know when you're about to visit a website that was recently created and has a low trust score. URL homoglyph detection, where WallaGuard blocks scam websites that contain lookalike characters, which is a common form of phishing where scammers will create websites that pretend to be real ones with a slight variation of letters in the URL. Malicious extension detection, where WallaGuard will automatically disable unpacked extensions installed on your browser, which is a common way to spread malware. And transaction simulations, which allows you to see exactly what is coming in and out of your wallet before you complete your transaction. Sweet. Back on the navigation bar, we have a support button, which takes us to WallaGuard's official Discord server, which we can join by accepting this invite and getting verified. And back to the WallaGuard app, at the bottom of the navigation bar, we have a button that takes us to their academy, where we have an option to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest alerts and scams to look out for. And they also send out monthly newsletters about the state of Web3 security so we can degen safely. The rest of the Academy features tips and tricks, release notes, security notices, and other helpful information about wallet safety overall. Awesome. If you would like to learn about more tools like WallaGuard, we can add to our DeFi toolkit to prepare for the next face-melting altcoin season. Check out this video. If you would finally like to have that eureka moment about how crypto wallet addresses, private keys, and seed phrases work, check out this video. And to download WallaGuard's free extension, click on the link on the screen. Like and subscribe for more. Be safe out there.